Hello everyone, this is Hans Lutz of Ambertree. Hope you're having a very nice day. Uh, in my previous videos, I've talked a lot about the added value and the benefits of knowledge management, shift left and uh, self-service. In this video, I want to focus more on the practical implementation and especially on how to structure your knowledge base or self-help portal. Now, these systems are traditionally and, and often still organi organized around a traditional folder structure. But as you will see, this creates ever increasing problems. And on the other hand, you have tags, which are not only useful to improve the search function of your knowledge base, but also for organizing the documentation itself. And uh, that's what I want to talk about in this short video. So as I mentioned, uh, documentation is often still organized in a, uh, in a uh, folder structure, in a hierarchical tree structure based on a certain logic. And that logic was probably valid at the time it was created. However, the problem is that this logic, uh, the logic behind this structure continuously degrades as time goes on and the organization evolves. So uh, a structure like this is very rigid. Uh, so you cannot easily adapt it without having to move around a lot of documentation. And it also naturally tends to uh, lead to a lot of duplication, as you will see. So for example, let's say you've built this uh, structure for your company where you've separated application and infrastructure uh, information. Now, what if your company merges with uh, another company, with company ABC, uh, which already has its own systems, which already has its own uh, documentation? What do you do now? Do you keep this documentation sis uh, separate? Do you merge it into your own? Uh, do you, how do you set up ownership? Uh, what about different languages? Uh, things like that. So that makes it, it already undermines the, lo the original logic of your uh, of your knowledge base, or at least the structure of your knowledge base. Moreover, this is fundamentally a structure of, uh, you can think about it as boxes, uh, which every, with the attention that each document uh, goes into only one box. But what if you have a document that is relevant for multiple domains? Uh, do you just pick one and, and create some kind of uh, linking and referrals, or do you have to you know, go for duplicates and have all the consequences that that has? So, there's a lot of issues with a tree structure like this in the, for organizing your information. And the problem essentially there is that this system only has two dimensions and it places the structure above the documentation. Now, you don't have those limitations with, uh, with tags. Uh, you can define multiple dimensions of tags and then you can apply as many or as few uh, tags to documents as, uh, as relevant. So it really... Uh, rather than saying we're going to build a structure for our documents, we're going to instead look at our documents and, 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 and build our structure around those. And so instead of navigate, also, of course, instead of navigating a folder structure, you're now navigating by association, which is far more natural, which is a more natural way of processing information. And it's, of course, much more flexible. So you can add or change tags without needing to move around a lot of documents. You can also more easily find patterns and knowledge gaps in your information. However, you do have to keep in mind that there should be a specific person or a specific team responsible for managing the tags. Uh, if you allow everyone to just make tags, you're going to get a lot of confusion very quickly. And if your technology allows it, I would recommend uh, implementing uh, synonym handling as well. Now, of course, all of this also means that uh, you can't just start throwing your documents into a big pile and then rely on tagging exclusively. You still need some grouping, some structure. And, uh, but you can set that up as a radial rather than a hierarchical or a tree structure. And uh, that will be the subject of one of my next videos. So if you have more questions about this, you can just go to our website, ambertree.consulting. Uh, now, Ambertree is a company that specializes in helping IT organizations to leverage their knowledge for more efficiency and effectiveness and to help them deliver more value to their customers. On our website, you can find more information. You can also find our other videos and you can also book a free uh, consult, a free meeting with uh, me or one of my colleagues and uh, where we can just look at your situation, look at what you're trying to do. Maybe, you know, if you're saying we're trying to do this, but how should we approach this? Or you are already done something, but it didn't go so well. Maybe we can help you out and figure out your next steps. 
So until then, uh, I hope you have a very nice day, a very, a very productive week, and I'll talk to you soon.